Hi, I'm Melanie, and this is Melanie's Yoga Couch. Today we'll be doing a yoga flow for those of us with acid reflux or heartburn, something that's really common in the holiday season just because of all the food and wine we're consuming, but it also happens throughout the year. So what we're going to do is we're going to avoid any inversions or head over the heart poses. We're going to focus more on strengthening the legs and stretching the legs out. So make sure you have some pillows nearby. We're going to do more of an inclined shavasana so that you're not uncomfortable laying flat on the back. Let's get started. So come to standing at the front of your mat and bring your hands together in front of the chest. Start to breathe, allowing the stomach to get soft and the chest to be open. Today we're going to avoid using Uddiyana Bandha, if you're familiar with that. We're going to try to be more gentle and soft in the core so that we don't exacerbate the acid reflux or the heartburn. Bring your hands to the sides and then behind the back, interlace the fingers and reach your hands back and down, opening up the chest. Release the hands, bend the knees, the feet are hip-width apart, and bring your hands to the thighs. Inhale, lift the chest and tailbone. Exhale, reach the chin towards the chest. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Three more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, round. One last time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. Come on up to standing. Bring the hands together in front of the chest in Anjali Mudra. We're going to bring the weight a little bit forward so that we can step back with the left foot coming into a high lunge. The hands are still together in front of the chest. Go ahead and bend your back knee so that you can reach the tailbone towards the mat. And then start to straighten the back leg. We're going to twist over towards the right, bringing the right hand towards the back, left towards the front. And then come back to the middle. Step forward in Tadasana, and then come to the other side, bringing the right foot back into high lunge. Bend your back knee, reach the tailbone towards the mat, and start to straighten. Then turn towards the left, open up your hands, just for a breath, and then come back to the middle. Step the back foot forward. And then we'll move into the other side. We're stepping the left foot back into high lunge. Turning over towards the right. Right hand back, left hand forward. Come back to the middle, hands together in front of the chest. And we're going to do some dips. On your exhale, bring the left knee to the mat. And then inhale, straighten. Exhale, dip. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, dip. Inhale, straighten. Two more times. And one more time. Lean a bit forward. Step your left foot forward and change sides. Take a big step back with your right foot, coming into high lunge. Twist over towards the left, opening up the hands, glancing over the left fingertips. Come back to the middle, hands together in front of the chest, and now with the dips. Exhale, right knee towards the mat, inhale, lift. Exhale, dip, inhale, straighten. Exhale, dip, inhale, straighten. Two more times. And one more time. Straighten the back leg. Step the right foot forward. Coming into Tadasana. Samastitihi with the hands together in front of the chest. We're going to come back into high lunge, taking a big step back with the left foot. And then we're going to open up into warrior two on the right side. Bring the right hand forward, the left hand back. Open up the hips and breathe. Try to keep the stomach as soft as possible while reaching the tailbone towards the mat. Then come into Peaceful Warrior, bringing the left hand to the left calf or thigh and reaching the right hand up and over. 
Come back through warrior two into side angle, extended side angle, reaching the left arm up and over the head. The right elbow is pressing into the right thigh. Inhale back into warrior two. Lift your back heel, straighten your front leg, hands to the hips, step the back foot forward. Hands together in front of the chest. We'll move over into the next side. Take a big step back with your right foot, coming into high lunge. We're gonna open up into warrior two on our left side. The right heel comes down to the mat. Left arm forward, right arm back. Open up, open up your hips. Reach the tailbone towards the mat, relax the shoulders. And then we'll move into Peaceful Warrior, dropping the right hand to the right calf or thigh, lifting the left arm up and over, left bicep over the left ear. You might look up if that's comfortable in your neck. You might look straight ahead. And then come back up through Warrior Two into your extended side angle with the left elbow on the left thigh, right arm reaching up and over, the right bicep over the right ear, Press the right foot into the mat, reach through the right fingertips. And then lift back up into warrior two, straightening the front leg, stepping the back foot forward into samastitihi. Walk the feet to the edges of the mat turning the toes outward and the heels a bit inward. Sit down low, pressing the elbows into the knees, knees into the elbows, lengthen the spine. Drop the hips as much as you can towards the mat. One more breath. And then bring your hands to the mat and step back into all fours. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Just do some small circles with your pelvis. It's kind of releasing in the lower back, releasing in the hips. And then turn over to your side. We're gonna roll up the sides of the mat to come into frog. So this is gonna provide some extra padding for the knees. You can also use a blanket. It just might be a bit more slippery. So bring the knees as wide as you can. And we're gonna bring the, the feet wider than the knees, toes facing out, so you do look like a little frog. And then come down if you can to the elbows and lengthen the spine. If you need to intensify, you can bring the knees out a bit wider. You can also press the hips backwards. Try to stay with the breath. We're going to stay here a bit longer than usual. So make sure your breaths stay deep and that you stay present. Really feel that intense stretch in the inner thighs, in the hips. Try to release more and more into the pose. Stay with it. Deep inhales and exhales. Really getting curious about the sensations in the body.
We're going to slowly come out of it. So press your hands into the ground, walk your hands back, and slowly bring the knees in towards the middle, letting your mat roll out. Come back into all fours, knees under the hips, hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to do some big circles. So bring the hips back towards the heels, move towards the right and forward, and then the left and back. Big circles, letting your whole body get involved one more time. And when you're back towards the heels, start moving in the opposite direction. You can close the eyes, really enjoy the feeling, the, the sensations in the back and the release in the hips. And find your way into a neutral position. We're gonna walk the hands back and come into standing on the knees for a set of camel. You can bring the hands together in front of the chest or behind the back at the lower back to support the lower back. Inhale, lift up towards the ceiling and back, lean back. We're not gonna to come too deep and then come forward, come to sitting on the knees, bring the tops of the feet to the mat and just feel the pose in the body. We're gonna come into a second set. Come to standing on the knees. The knees are hip width apart. You can bring the hands to the lower back, fingers facing up or down, and then just open up the chest. Draw the shoulder blades together. Draw the elbows together and make sure the breath is still flowing evenly. And then inhale forward, come back into sitting on the heels. Take a couple of breaths here. Then scoot your feet over towards the right. The hips come over towards the left. Bring your right hand to the mat. Lift the left arm up and over for a side stretch. Inhale back up to the middle. Move the hips over the heels, over to the right side. The feet over to the left. Left fingertips to the mat. Right arm up and over. Come back to the middle. Stretch the feet out in front of you. You can wiggle the legs, maybe bend and straighten. We're coming into Janusharsana. Stretch the right leg out, bend the left knee, bring the left sole of the foot to the inside of the right thigh. Sit up long and tall, and then slowly come forward. Really avoid using the stomach to pull you any deeper. We'll just use gravity and try to release with each exhale. Slowly walk yourself up to sitting. Straighten your left leg out. Bend your right knee. Bring the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Find length in the spine. And then start to walk yourself forward, letting the spine round. Making sure the left leg stays active. And then just releasing everywhere else. You can have a bend in your left knee. Long and even breaths. And walk yourself back up to sitting. Stretch out both legs in front of you. We're gonna come into Pajimottanasana, seated forward fold. Sit up long and tall, and then start to walk yourself out down over your legs, hooking your big toes with your Peace fingers in your thumb. 
Press the toes against the fingers, the fingers against the toes, activating the legs. And draw the crown of the head towards the feet. The legs are active. And then release the toes. Find a seated position. Bend and straighten the legs. We're going to move into Shavasana. Remember, this is an inclined Shavasana. I have a bolster here with a block, and I'm going to make a little ramp with that that I can lean on. Grab yourself some pillows that you can stack up so that you have an inclined Shavasana. This will be much more comfortable for you with acid reflux or heartburn. Make sure you're warm. You can wear some socks or a sweatshirt or a blanket. And then just find your Shavasana. Stretch the legs out. Let the feet fall open. Lean the body back onto the pillows, remove a ponytail if you have one, and then let the arms just fall open, the palms facing up. Get really comfortable and relaxed. A lot of times stress can really have an influence on our body and it often causes acid reflux. So Shavasana is a really important pose here. Continue to release, continue to get heavy. Stomach is soft and the chest is open. Feel free to stay here for as long as you need to. Thank you for joining me today. And please subscribe to Melanie's Yoga Couch. Thanks again and see you next week. Namaste.